This diagram shows all the possible outcomes for which of these situations. So let's just look at this first. So they've labeled each column elf, hobbit, human, and then they've labeled each row magic, sword, shield, slingshot, and umbrella. And we have 15 possible outcomes, five times three. And there's a couple of ways we could do it. We could say, hey, look, I'm going to create a character in this looks like some type of a fantasy game. And I'm first going to pick one of five different accessories or tools or weapons. And then I'm going to pick the type of character it is. So this is there's, there's five possibilities here. And then for whichever one I pick, there's going to be three possibilities. So you have a total of five times three different outcomes. I could be a hobbit with a slingshot. I could be a human with an umbrella. I could be an elf with an umbrella. I could be elf with magic. All of these are possible outcomes. I could also go the other way. I could say, hey, first I'm going to pick the type of character I'm going to be. I'm either going to be an elf, a hobbit, or human. So there's three different situations there. And then for each of them, there's five different accessories that I might pick. So once again, three times five. So let's read these and see, and see which, which of these apply. Creating three characters of different types of creatures and choosing a random tool for each one. So even if we assume that these are the only three types of creatures available, elf, hobbit, and human, so if you create three characters of different types, you're going to have an elf, a hobbit, and a human, and you're going to choose a random tool for each one. So each one is going to have five possible tools, and so the, the total number of possibilities is going to be five for the first one, times five for the second one, times five for the third one. So this situation right over here, you're going to have at least, or you're going to, Assuming that these are the only three characters, so you're going to have one elf, one hobbit, and one human. You have a, you have 125 possibilities. This isn't this isn't this situation right over here. Creating 15 characters for a game and choosing randomly each time. So each character, there's three possibilities. If we assume that these are the only three, elf, hobbit, and human. So the first one, there's three possibilities, and the second one, there's three possibilities, and the third one, there's three possibilities. So the total number of outcomes for 15 characters, you would take, you would essentially multiply together 15 threes, or you would view, or the total number of outcomes would be three to the 15th power. Very, very large number, much larger number than 15. So this one doesn't apply as well. Creating a character for a game by randomly picking from five tools, then picking from three types of creatures, for the character's identity. Well, yeah, that sounds like what we described at the beginning of this video. I pick one of five tools, and then given what tool I have, I pick one of three characters. So five times three, 15 outcomes. Creating a character for a game by randomly picking from three types of creatures, right? So there's three outcomes there, or three situations, three possibilities, then picking from five types of tools. Sure, three times five, 15 outcomes. So that one seems to apply as well.